Hey up everybody, I hope you're okay. I've met a guy this weekend whose boat was sinking. His name's Mouse and he's a lovely, lovely guy and he's only just bought the boat, bless him. So what happens today is I need to get his boat out of the water as fast as we can and luckily Winch and Wharf have offered to do that for him but we need to get him there and because I'm going that way anyway, I offered to give him a tow. Now the thing is, I need to go and check now to make sure that the boat is seaworthy enough to be towed. He's been mopping all the water out, he's getting it all out of his engine bay. Um, so we're going to go now, check it all out, and if so, then I'm going to tow him to Winchon Wharf. So I hope you join me on that journey. So this is me, Planet King, and well, let me see, just want to show you how much water's in here, right? You see this? So I've just been and checked his boat out, so I know how where to moor and how I'm going to get him attached. So here he is, bless him, and luckily he's managed to get all the water out of his engine bay. Hey! Ahoy! Ahoy there, me hearty! So as long as he doesn't run his engine, he should be fine. And he was in good spirits, and the main thing is, is to keep him smiling. <laughs> right. So I'm going to put this round there. Um, is that too high? Yeah, we do. I think we'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. Let's uh, bring it closer. So we're just altering the buttons so that the buttons align because we don't want to hit my rudder which is there. This chap's called Kevin and he was helping us tie on. What do you think Pudding? Is it going to be an exciting day? <laughs> Let's go. Now the water was only flooding into Mouse's boat when the engine was running. So we made sure the engine was off, the boards were up so we could see if any water started to come into the boat and we could hear each other so he could give me a warning so I could quickly moor up. Yeah. I passed some fellow boating friends of mine so I had to take the mickey. Just have a shower. Shirt we like we like a bit of nippleage, don't we? Yeah, you I'm just gonna go dead nice and slow. It's because Mouse was stranded for two weeks. He was really low on water and he needed to empty his toilet, so that was the first stop. So I thought I'd top my tanks up whilst I was there, get a load of washing on. So I used this opportunity to ask Mouse what exactly had happened to cause him to be sinking. May 25th, uh, a couple of days before my birthday, um, long story short, I saw some steam coming out of my infant bay, pulled over and found out that I was nearly sinking. I was rescued by two people that you know um, oh. very well and um, I've been stuck here for almost two weeks now so God bless you Heidi for giving me a tow to this marina so that she can get taken out of the water and um, yeah if you want to see the engine bay it's dry now which is nice <laughs> it's nice to call them beer on. bottles there They're going in the recycling yes <laughs> I had a drink last night oh yeah so you're all right there yeah so yeah so far, so good, touching wood. And, and what, what caused you to be sinking? Well, they reckon it's possibly the steel on the outside of the hull or an, an egg-shaped propeller shaft. It's, it might knock something and be out of alignment and thereby not sealing. Um, or again, it could be the brass fitting inside the steel that stops the water gushing in all the time. And unfortunately, the only way they're going to be able to tell me what it is, is by taking it out of the water. So I said to Mouse, I'm happy to tow him, but he's got to do one thing for me. You've got to wear this hat. Yarr! Am I, am I a gym lad for the rest of the day then? Yeah, you are. There we go. In line with the ponytail and everything. See, now he's proper pirate. Fantastic. Pirating. And you're part of my fleet. So just trying to turn this really stressful situation into a little bit of fun because poor Mouse, he'd only just bought this boat and everything was going wrong for him, bless him. Oh, is me a boat coming the other way? This seems to go well so far. I did shit myself when that boat was coming around that blind bend, but... That's part of the fun. I didn't get it all on video because I had to throw my camera down and uh, have a heart attack, but <laughs> it was all okay. So we 
and go too fast um, because I might not be able to stop. Plus I'm worried about these ropes at the back. But yeah, it seems to be holding, everything's going fine. And we can get the lovely mouse somewhere safe so we can get his boat checked over, bless him. And I feel so sorry for him because he did everything right. He bought a boat, he had a survey done and then that happens. So it's a shame really. So I just hope everything works out. So we're at the fallen tree bit again and the thing is it, it narrows the, the the passage, narrowed passage. So I have to toot my horn just to check there's nothing coming because if there was now I'd absolutely <laughs> myself. <laughs> Can't see around any of these blind bends. It's like I'm just close my eyes and just hope. So closing my eyes and hoping just didn't work. Straight away at this little tiny bit where the canal goes so narrow, enough space for one little narrow boat to get through, we come head to head with another pair of boats that are towing. Of all the chances and of all the places, how mad. Luckily though, they were fantastic and there was three aboard them boats and they jumped straight off when they saw us come in and pulled in and we just had to try and get past but it was awful and I was really lucky because when I did ram into reverse, Mouse didn't suddenly take me from behind without me knowing. <laughs> Yeah, and you. Of all the things to happen, the smallest pinch point on this canal, and there's two boats towing. Oh, we said it was going to be an adventure, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So this was the Salt Barge pub, which we were in a couple of weeks ago. Fantastic pub. But I'm aiming, once I've dropped this chap off, Mouse, once I've dropped him off at Winchon Wharf so he can be craned out, I'm heading to another pub called the Broken Cross. And that's another fabulous pub. pub. Loads of good pubs on this stretch. For those of you who have towed boats, it's really hard work and you have to go quite slow. So I just pulled over for a second. Let a boat pass us. Yeah, well, these are cool, aren't they? <laughs> so, seeing that to stop to uh, allow the boat to pass, they didn't want to like pass, they weren't rushing or anything. I just felt a little bit unkind carrying on at our really slow pace. But whilst we stopped, it gave me a chance to go in and get a little bit of rum to keep us going on our journey. Hi, there we go. Cheers, honey. Cheers. Oh, we'll try that again. There we go, we've got to have a clean. To good adventures. Indeed. Mm. Ooh, let's get Ooh, going. That's got a kick to it. So cheers, everyone. I shouldn't be able to call myself a pirate when I've not got rum on board, but thankfully, this amazing gentleman, Mouse, got me a bottle for helping him. How lovely is that? This is why I love the Boeing community. They're just amazing and I'd do anything for a rum anything <laughs>
but not that. So whilst I'm towing here and checking all the ropes and checking all these blind bends, I wonder what Mouse is doing. Towing pro, tied off like an admiral that you are, obviously, because she's the head of the fleet right now. <laughs> Oh my god! No! I've been towed by pirates! <laughs> We're just approaching Wincham Wharf now, it's just under this bridge. So it's arrived at its destination. I'm just going to untie now and then I'll be on my way. But um, I'm going to the Broken Cross pub, which is a fab pub. So Good luck on your journey. Thank you, And we're off. Right, here's a question for all those fellow boaters out there. When I pass another boat that's coming this way, I always go, I love, you know, and say hello and exchange, like, oh, the weather's nice, and, you know, there's a boat behind me, or I say something. But well, sometimes, when I'm going past, which happened just back there, I went, I love! And um, he went... I mean, what's that about? I think, sometimes I think it's like, because I've got pirate flags on my boat, and they think, oh, she's one of those, is she? Or, because my roof's full of coal, bags of coal, and loads of tyres and that, which are used when I moor up sometimes. And I think, what is it? Why, why turn away on me? And, um, you know, it could be how they think, oh, look at that mad woman driving that boat. I don't know. Um, but most people are really, really friendly, but just some of them are like, mm. why is that? If you know the answer to this question, please leave it in the comments on my YouTube channel. Let's try and see what this is about. Anyway. The pub's around this bend, so I'm nearly at the pub. And I'm gonna moor there tonight because it's a cracking little pub, the Broken Cross. If you are in on the uh -oh, if you are on the Trent of Mersey at any point, two cracking pubs near Northwich, the Salt Barge, which we stayed in a couple of weeks ago, fabulous, and then the Broken Cross. The people that have took it over um, a few years ago, absolutely lovely, lovely. When we went there last time, we were made to feel so welcome lovely people in there and um, so definitely obviously i'll be going in for a pint later but yeah good pub good pub and here we go again we've seen it once before since his incident of his sinking of his boat, near sinking of his boat, I'm out with him. So, Mouse, come on, let's tell me what's happened. So, um, long story short, we got lifted out of the water today. Um, we found out what's wrong with the boat. Um, there is a hole in the cutlass bearing, which is very pirate-like, um, which isn't too hot, but it's going to get repaired the boat is going to be fine and then I'm going to be able to trundle down the cut which is the whole reason that we've got a boat in the first place so everything's working out well <laughs> 